Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. All right, it's a new week, therefore a new Torah portion, and we are in the Torah portion called Metzora, which means the leper or the infected one, and it's taken from Leviticus chapter 14, verses 1, all the way to chapter 15, verse 33. So our Sidra, our Aliyah for this, uh, for this day is Leviticus chapter 14, verses 1 through 12. But I want to focus in on verse 8. Now, it says, The one to be cleansed, meaning the one to be cleansed from this za'aretz, this leprosy, must wash his clothes, shave off all his hair, and bathe himself in water. So, and, it, and then it says he should be clean. After that, he may come into the camp but is to dwell outside the tent, his tent for seven days, which meaning he's not to have intimacy with his spouse, his or her spouse. Um, so this, this verse eight talks about um, a, a cleansing, a new beginning, a, a wiping of the slate, a cleaning of the slate, a fresh start. It symbolizes a new birth because it says the one to be cleansed must wash his clothes. When you wash something, you renew it. It's not like brand new, but you renew it. Um, it's kind of like the, the new moon. We know that there's not a new moon every month, but it's just a symbolism as if the moon was refreshing itself. Then it says, shave off all his hair. When somebody's born, like I said before, unless you're Esau, you come out <laughs> with no hair, right? And so it kind of symbolizes being born again. So born the, the concept of being born again spiritually is not just a Christian concept. It is a Jewish concept, and it is found right here in the scripture dealing with the leper. He must shave off all his hair and bathe himself in water. You know, when, when a, a child is born, he breaks his mother's water and goes through the birth canal. This is symbolized through, um, you know, the Passover. Uh, this is the second of Nisan, uh, the uh, second of the month of Nisan. Nisan is the month of the Passover. And the children of Israel crossed through and passed through the Red Sea, and they were birthed as a nation. The parting of the Red Sea and going through that part in the Red Sea represents the birth canal, and it represents the birth of a nation. Therefore, um, you know, the children of Israel were born on that time. So likewise, when the leper is cleansed, he is, he is uh, bathes himself in water and he should be clean. So this rep represents a new birth. And, you know, leprosy corrupts. It, it rots. It destroys. It mars. It scars. It, 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 it does nothing good. And it, it reminds me of a tornado. And these news footages that you see of, of a tornado uh, passing through a community and leaving a, a trail of destruction and mayhem and chaos behind it. Uh, you can't even tell what was what. There's just, there's papers and there's appliances and there's cars and boats and trees and, and, and roofs and shingles and doors and windows and glass and, and wood all just crumb, crumpled and mumbled together um, as if it was a junkyard, as if it was a scrap heap, as if a bomb had gone off in the middle of that town. You can't tell what's what or who's what or whose is what. And it, it just destroys. And when you come in, realizing that this place used to be your home, you're like, well, what do I do now? You, so you basically have to start over. You have to start from the ground up. You have to create a new beginning. You have to uh, wipe the slate clean and start with a clean slate. You bring in a bulldozer, you bring in a dumpster, and you just take everything away until it's nothing but the bare foundation and you start again. And this is the same with the leper. It's a new life. It's, it's a new beginning. It's a rebirth, a fresh start. So, you know, a lot of people wait until a tornado happens to have a fresh start. Sometimes people wait till the new year to turn over a new leaf and have a fresh start. But you know what? Your fresh start can happen right now. Your fresh start can be today. It's just the decision to do it. You know, have you ever like made something out of clay um, or, or made a drawing and or wrote a story and you're like, ah, oh, this is just not turning out the way I want it to. It's, it's, it's just not what I thought it would be. And you're, you're, you're debating whether you should just continue on with it to see if you can make something out of it anyway or if you just should start all over. 
And, you know, the cutting room floor of, of a movie maker or a writer, um, their trash can is full of crumpled pieces of paper where they started and realized it wasn't a good start, so they had to start again. A fresh start. They got a clean sheet of paper and what have you. Um, you know, and the person making some, something out of clay, even the scripture talks about how the potter, you know, the, the, the vessel is marred, so he just crumples it up and starts again. Sometimes that's exactly what we have to do in our life, is we just have to start over and, and start with a clean slate. That's what repentance is all about. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I repent. Forgive me of my sins, my failures, and my shortcomings. Please cleanse me, purify me, make me new. Give me a clean, fresh start. You can do that right now, today. You don't have to wait till a tragedy happens uh, or for God to get your attention through spiritual leprosy to, to make a fresh start. Decide to make a fresh start today. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom. Love you guys. And God bless. Shavua Tov. Have a good week.